they thought it was ink, they didn't notice he smelled. There is no evidence he ever obtained the title of samurai. He was a joke to the Japanese. Then as the story of him spread, it got embellished heavily and out of context. He was a slave at first and then got treated to a slightly higher position. And this is from Japanese historians, but you know, wokism these days. And this was all directed to the African legend, Yasuke. All that you all just saw, those are comments of people referring to Yasuke, the African warrior, as not being a samurai. If you go to any page that is talking about Yasuke, just go down to the comment section and you are going to see hundreds of comments of people talking about Yasuke not being a samurai warrior. You are going to see a lot of comments from people being bitter of why they said Yasuke is a samurai warrior until they are planned on making out a movie about Yasuke. So I asked myself, who are these people and why are they so bitter about an African guy labeled as a samurai warrior? So I said, let me try to check who these guys are. You are not going to believe that 99% of these comments are coming from people that have nothing to do with the samurai culture. These guys even went to the official Facebook page of Ubisoft in one of the games that Ubisoft just released, which portrays um, Yasuke as the main character and portrays him as a samurai warrior. These guys really went there and expressed their bitterness about Yasuke being portrayed as a samurai warrior. Some of them even said that they are, they are not going to buy the game just because a black character has been portrayed as a samurai warrior. So with this, I was like, okay, I think it is time for us to take a little bit dive on the history of Yasuke. Before we look at the history of Yasuke, I want us to go back to 2003, The Last Samurai. And the person that was portrayed as a samurai in this movie was Tom Cruise. And if we want to look accurately on the samurai history, there was never and there have never been a samurai that is of European descent, if you know what I mean. But this movie was released and it portrays Tom Cruise as a samurai in this movie. And I can assure you that since from the time of the release of this movie back in 2003, right up to date, there has never been an uproar from the people of African descent coming online and hunting down this movie, trying to criticize the movie because the character that, that was portrayed as a samurai warrior has nothing to do with the samurai culture. Never. You never see someone of African descent coming online, hunting down pages on Facebook, YouTube, and in every social media site to bring down this movie because the samurai was not historically accurate. Never. Matter of fact, I don't think we even have that time, all right, to do such things. But whenever it comes to us, people of African descent, our story, our history, and it, it is not as if it is not accurate because Yasuke has a legacy that he left in the samurai culture. Ask any person Ask even the Japanese that have the samurai culture, they will tell you about Yasuke. There was a lot of animes that has been made in the honor of Yasuke. Matter of fact, Yasuke was even a general. In this history, it states that Yasuke was a general and he had about 200 men under his belt that he was controlling. When it comes to black history or anything African that gives credit to African people all over the world, these guys cannot hold themselves up. I've realized that they are so, they, they, they don't even want anything that's going to give credit to us. They just want that our history should just be focused on colonialism for continental Africans and slavery.
for the African diaspora because that is what I, I've realized. Everything is clear. It is not as if it is something that is just fiction. Everything is clear about Yasuki. But they, they are so bitter. They are like, no, it is never going to happen. I mean, come on. Even video games that is just meant for fun, video games that are just meant for fun, these guys are also there to criticize these games until they are saying how they're, they're not going to buy these games. Even video games. So it just goes down to tell me one thing. They don't want us to know of our history. That is what I've been telling you all from day one. You know what I mean? Because the level of obsession that I see these people being obsessed with black greatness and black history, like they don't want, even want it to happen, it really makes me to nod my head and say, this is really, really sad. You know what I mean? Really, really sad. So that is what I said. Let me share to you guys in this video. And I, we were supposed to talk about the history of Yasuki in this video, but I'm going to keep that for the next video. So please just come to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to join the family. So I'll be seeing you all on my next video.